Hello, this is John Kelly of the Kelly Law Team. I want to talk to you about slip and fall cases or trip and fall cases. These are very common cases and, and some of the things that I've noticed in my practice is that uh, it's very important to document what happened after you trip and fall. Now obviously you want to get the medical attention you need first. So if you're going to the ambulance and going to the hospital, clearly you're not going to be taking photographs of the scene. But at some point you should be able to help yourself get the, the documentation you need to bring a successful claim. If you do have the opportunity, you can still make a report with the company where you trip and fell, fell at, or at least get a photograph if it's not a company where it was. Um, document exactly what you fell on, why it was a dangerous situation. Uh, remember, we're going to need to prove that it was negligently um, there that, that made you fall. So. If it was a situation where there was something wet on the floor or if there was, uh, say, cement that had a curb that was high, that was, uh, you know, uh, dangerous, you need to get documentation of that. So photographs. Also witness statements. Who were you with at the time? Is there someone that you were with that can write a statement for you? Um, is there cameras? Sometimes that on a commercial property, they'll actually have cameras and there's, they're time sen sensitive. So understand that they do a loop and it's, sometimes it's after 30 days. So you want to get on top of getting that camera footage because that can make your claim. Um, are there other employees that witnessed it? Um, these are all things that you want to do along with documenting the injuries that you have. So if you do have injuries that are serious, you want to have photographs of yourself of what you're going through and, and, and you know, keep track of all your, your doctor's visits and that kind of thing. Once you've established liability, your claim will be much more easy. That, me that means that you can focus on your treatment, getting well, and, and, and your recovery before you make a claim for your damages. And that might include lost wages, it might include uh, pain and suffering, paying for your medical expenses. The first part though is the hard part in these kind of claims. So if you have issues with a, with a trip and fall or a slip and fall, you can give us a call and, and we can help you establish the liability. Uh, oftentimes we hire an investigator to go to the scene to take photos to ask the employees and managers if they have video. Um, if it's at another location that's not on a commercial property, we can get uh, you know video evidence or, or just photographs of, of the circumstances that caused the accident. Uh, these can go a long way in helping us establish a, a claim for slip or trip and fall cases. If you have additional questions or you'd like to talk to me about one of these cases, please give me a call. My number is 602-283-4122.